So I made another game, which is a first person shooter called No Shit. And I've been working on this for six fucking months. Honestly, it's been pretty damn hard to make something this polished. At least people said it was. Anyway, well, there's a lot to fucking talk about because there was a lot that happened in between the development of the game. I swear, I think I went through like game development phases in between this, kind of like how I went through puberty. So back in April of the 15th, there was a game jam called Bullet Hell. It was perfect because, I mean, I just got my new laptop the week before. Oh, did I mention I got a new laptop? Yes, no more lag. Oh, that's nauseating as fuck. No more calling my laptop flipping garbage. It's literally the best laptop. Oh, for fuck! Now, for those of you who don't know what a game jam is, it's a competition where you compete against other game developers to make a game within a set time limit, which I've done a lot in the past, and you know, I'm a bit of an expert at this. So sorta. Now, this game jam had a team called Confined, and since it's bullet hell, I could probably turn this into a first person shooter. Like I haven't done those before. Now at the time, I lacked ideas, so I was just thinking about gameplay instead of being focused on the theme. So all I had was kind of just making the player have high speed movement, but in closed tight spaces. So I started a new Unity project and got to work. And then I just slapped on the old movement code I had in my last jam game, and uh, errors. I've never had those before. And after looking at a couple of Google searches, I think we got some good movement going on. Now in my last game, I had a problem with the movement being absolutely terrible and janky. And it also had a problem whenever I bumped into walls. Now at the time, I thought I had a solution which I was incredibly proud of and went through a lot of effort even explaining the concept behind that. It turns out all of that was fucking pointless. All I had to do was literally add this one component that Unity has built in to go around this problem. And it works like a damn charm. Now since this is a first person shooter, I need some guns. So I made this sci-fi looking shotgun in Blender that came out pretty cool. Then I did some animations, some good old programming and some VFX and got a pretty sick result. So some people were asking me how I actually make my weapons give more feedback and they kick to the player and honestly all of that is from these two scripts here. One of them just shakes the camera whenever I shoot, while the other script rotates and kickbacks the gun depending on a few variables that I can tamper with. And the way this works is by lerping the camera and gun constantly at its current location and then whenever I fire, it interpolates to whatever position or rotation I want to lerp in. And then it moves back to its previous position depending on the return speed. And that's kind of what gives it the recoil it needs. Although with this type of recoil, you might actually break your arm. Now the problem was, I wanted to kind of make the movement a bit more interesting than just regular running and jumping. I look so stupid right now. <laughs> I also didn't really want to have the parkour mechanics either. So I just did this shotgun jump thing that happens because of re recoil. Okay, I, I, I fail physics in high school, give me a break. And this feature was totally not inspired by Danny's Carlson. And I know what a lot of you guys will say. Hey underdog, your game looks like it's from Carlson. And I know, I know, but um... My, my, my mind's better. Anyway, the way the shotgun jump works is just by adding opposite force to wherever the camera is facing. So if you're facing down, it would boost you up, or if you're facing forward, it would push you back. I need time in, time in. Okay. Oh my and this kind of makes it harder for the player if he is constantly spamming the shotgun forward. And I like to see you guys suffer. I then made this cool sick looking robot inspired by Borderlands, got it into game and uh, for some reason it points its gun at me but doesn't shoot. Now he's looking kind of stiff right now so I made some animation, did more programming for it to look extra spicy and then I guess I got a pretty satisfying result. The problem with some games looking stiff though is the fact that it lacks polish and right now my game just lacks a lot of that and to spice all of that up I just had to add in all of these small little details that kind of make it pop. Better sound effects, more VFX, a pause menu that looks kind of sick, 
and it just makes it feel fun, which my game totally was. Let's take this guy's opinion. So wait, what, 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 what are your thoughts on the game? Trash. Honestly, after that, there wasn't anything interesting other than me just creating levels. I just submitted the game with only 21 minutes to spare and then slept because I was fucking exhausted. I woke up the next day to a lot of people not playing it, although I got someone to speedrun the game. Oh my god. Now ever since that day, I kind of just stopped working on it because I started university and I had some other 3D gigs to do. Until I went to university this one day and randomly opened up my Unity project to realize, wait, this could actually turn into a full Steam release. I went home that day and started to do a bunch of stuff that could improve my game, like better feedback, more weapons, a way better movement system, and also story. And this made everything come together as a whole, and honestly, I think it looks pretty good now. I even let a couple of people at university play the new version, and uh, well, they, they are pretty good, I guess. Cut that. I forgot to mention, I also added slow motion because apparently people said it was hard to aim. So I just added a slow motion bar on the left corner that you can toggle. It was actually not too hard to add and this is all the code you need for it. It only activates when the bar is full, else it'll feel too easy. I also added a speedrun timer so people could actually speedrun the levels now and complete it in 6 fuck seconds. How is that possible? What the fuck? And well, that is it. There's so much more I want to reveal to be honest. Everything just seems a lot better and a lot more like a game. There's a ton more that I want to work on, like a boss for example, more movement features, more weapons, and also this little robot. If you guys want to play the current version, I'll try to link it up on my itch page, links down below. Join my discord if you guys want to get more development updates and other garbage. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Facebook. All of it down below. And oh, oh right, I, I almost forgot. Pineapple on pizza is fucking delicious. Wow, I look pretty hot though. I actually do look hot.